I wake up that morning and I try to make myself eat a little something at least, if not, if not a substantial breakfast. And I try to get dressed and wear an actual outfit and not just go in like kind of jammies and kind of feel drab and that um, the age old idea that you, if you look better, you feel better. <laughs> um, so I'll do a little bit of that, just a little bit of makeup. Not too much, but I'll do that. And I generally wear my wig there, even though I wear a bandana a lot around the home or, or to go to the gym. We get to the building and after we park, I go, we always walk up the stairs just because I like to. And it makes me feel like I'm not weak and suffering from cancer. I sort of just breeze past the front way now. I, I sign in and she just says, go on back and I know what to do, get into a routine. So I go back there and uh, wait for my nurse. They get your vitals right away, so they'll take my uh, blood pressure and temperature and pulse. So they'll have to put in my IV and then they'll set me up. And then after that, everything they do is through that. So that's a blessing. And they give me, um, there's some pre-drugs um, I think there's a steroid that they do to help absorption. And uh, it's funny because the day of chemo, I feel great. <laughs> Thanks to that steroid, probably. Jen just had a um, pretty severe reaction to the Taxol. A lot of trouble breathing and got pretty sick. And so that what they've done now is they've stopped the Taxol and they've given her some other stuff to try to calm her body down a little bit and then they'll resume the taxol at a slower rate and see how it goes. So she's going to be a little loopy for a while, they say probably the rest of the day. Um, anyway, it was kind of scary. Be still my soul.